With over 50 years of pioneering and independent scientific excellence, the Kuwait Institute for Scientific Research has played a significant role in addressing some of Kuwait's most pressing and critical national challenges. Also, the Institute has been the leader in promoting the growth of science and technology in the country as well as in the Gulf region. Today, in a world that is fronting challenges in different fields, the need for new inventions are essential to make changes and solve problems. The research centers in the Institute are devoted to solving challenges and finding opportunities for the benefit of Kuwait and others through continued research and innovation. Petrochemicals and plastic is widely using. And complaint came always that the plastics is making harm and bad vapors, making diseases and cancer. So the idea is you have to understand the behavior. This invention, this patent, will help you to study and measure the softening point of this plastic so you can modify it. So this system will guide the industry to understand the right applications and to know what's the best way or solutions to improve these plastics. The biggest problem facing the oil industry is the production of water with the oil. This is a big problem because uh, pumping the water with the oil, trying to separate the water from the oil and re-injecting the water in the reservoirs would cost about almost three quarters of a dollar. Now what we have done is the material is a polymer composition composed of several components that they start with solution like and they get injected in the wood bore in minutes to hours. We can control this uh, depending on the type of uh, cracks that exist in the water. And once they transform from solution-like to gel-like, they will uh, close up the uh, water and prevent it from being mixed with the oil. Stress corrosion cracking is considered one of the most dangerous forms of failure uh, in industries since it can fail suddenly and without any signs. Therefore, it is very important to test the susceptibility of materials to stress corrosion cracking. We choose to do this invention in the presence of fluids uh, in moving fluid solutions, which is the actual case in an industry. We are using in this technique called a circumferential notch tensile specimen, CNT specimen. Uh, the flow loop uh, mainly consists of uh, an autoclave for uh, heating and also containing the solution and uh, a pump for circulating the solution uh, and a flow meter to determine the velocity of the solution. We have been working on various contaminant issues in ocean and one of the biggest issue was to how to get the top surface layer which is called the Neustonic layer. This Neustonic layer is the top three to five millimeter of the surface which is concentrated up to a million time than the entire water profile. So we designed this instrument to get the surface layer of the seawater. This instrument is based on a principle that it floats the lower surface of the instrument is concave, so it has a larger contact area and it doesn't create a cone of depression. And there is a small bump, which is we suck the water from down surface, so then we can collect the sea water or the depth what we are looking for. And it is battery operated, so it can be drifted away from the vessel or it can go, be deployed at a remote location. Once this is deployed, it doesn't create a cone of depression and the top sheen is uh, collected as a sample into a super clean uh, sample bottle which we deploy at the top of the sampler. This invention is called method of dissipating water wave energy. Construction of port and harbor is a multi-million KD operation. Particularly country like Kuwait, we don't have good quality stones to construct port, we have to import good quality stone from abroad. It is very, very expensive. 
our invention contains series of vertical porous walls it will consume only 15% to maximum 20% of the material you need by rubble mount breakwater and the other advantage it dissipates energy better when long waves enter into the port other uh, merit is can prefabricate easily and then uh, construction you can do it within few months whereas rubble dumping will take years uh, the idea of this uh, invention came originally as a educational tool to educate uh, student about uh, the conversion of uh, heat to a mechanical energy. Later on, we find a lot of potential of this engine. The engine has high, high efficiency and can be used to convert solar energy or from any other source com can be converted to mechanical energy and then can be converted to an electrical power. The engine, it's simply, it's, there are two cylinders with the fluids, uh, some type of fluid. One cylinder can be heated, the other one can be cooled down. The fluid in the heated cylinder expand. This expansion will lead, uh, will go through a hydraulic pump. The hydraulic pump start rotating, and that's which converting the heat to a mechanical energy. Which then the hydraulic pump can be connected to a power generator, uh, and that convert heat to an electrical uh, power. There are hundreds of floating breakwaters around the world. Our floating breakwater, it is easy to construct and then economical. It is elegant and also it is environment friendly. The floating breakwater structure is a pontoon, like a square or rectangular shaped pontoon. It floats and then to increase its performance. The performance meaning when you have a wave, high wave here, you should have less wave here on the other side. To increase this performance, what we have done is we have added walls under the structure with perforations. What is the use of this wall? When we add this wall, this wall reflect more energy back to the sea and the perforation, it will destroy more energy. So on the use on this side where you need less wave, you get very, very little wave. So then this area can be used for um, construction or um, uh, like uh, offshore oil uh, loading ships for all the purposes. The hydrogen is considered as the most powerful source of energy that can be employed for automobile application as a source of energy and is also can be applied for fuel cell application for charging mobile devices. So we have prepared a new type of catalyst so-called metallic glassy zirconium nickel palladium in order to Number one, to reduce the hydrogenation and dehydrogenation temperature to be lower than 200 degrees and to increase the ability of magnesium hydride to absorb and desorb hydrogen at lower uh, temperature. Bacterial contamination in services can be a serious problem in different industries, including the food industries, clinical industries, and petroleum industries. So we apply the nanotechnology and we try to uh, come up with a combination of materials that can inhibit the bacteria attachment to the services. And we find out that our combination we use to coat the services can be uh, inhibited or can be decreased more than 90% uh, from the attachment on the, each of the uh, food processing service. Uh, of course, diamonds is uh, well-known uh, materials that can be employed in different uh, applications. However, the problem of nano production of nano diamonds is the cost. Uh, in fact, the present uh, invention shows the possibility of getting nanospherical particles of nano diamonds with the range from one to eight nanometer in diameter. The idea of this uh, way of application is how to employ high energy bowl milling uh, process operated at room temperature and under inert gas of helium to uh, mill 
graphite powder. So employing such forces during milling transform to nanodiamond phase. One issue the construction industry in Kuwait faces is the scarcity of resources. So for construction, we are importing aggregates. And uh, through research, we look for alternatives always. So we found the uh, byproduct of the sand washing process in sand washing plants is a fine material that can be used as a clay material in conjunction with another waste sources, which are the used loop oil and the sewage sludge. Starting from the raw material we use, the aggregate wash, the other source of waste, the loop oil and the uh, sewage sludge, we run through a very uh, controlled and precise way of mixing, heating at controlled time in the rotary kiln. So this process is run through and then we get the lightweight aggregate in the end. As you know that thermal desalination technologies is considered the backbone of seawater desalination, especially in the Gulf region. So the two most commonly used processes are the multi-stage flash uh, evaporation and the multiple effect distillation. So the idea of this invention is how we can combine them to take the advantage of the reliability of the multi-stage flash in the higher temperature range and take advantage of the multiple effect distillation in the lower temperature range where you have much less chance for scale formation to maximize the water productivity and minimize the energy consumption because those two processes are very in energy intensive. Uh, under the ground, uh, there is important material, water, oil, gas. These material, uh, when we need uh, to produce this material, we need a borehole, but you can't know how much the quantity of this material and uh, which direction, how it's move, or the depth of this material. The main thing for uh, this button, we need to inject this tracer in the borehole in specific depth and quantity. The benefit for this approach can use it for water or gas or oil. Any uh, thing underground with the borehole, also in the tank, you can use this invention. Innovation and commercialization of uh, innovations and products is important. This has been a challenge for the Institute for the past few years. And now we feel we are beginning to uh, understand in depth the need of this uh, commercialization business. It is important for us strategically to develop these alliances with the end users and especially the private sector. Today, KISA is uh, very pleased to have a specified days uh, to celebrate with the inventors and to share their ideas, to share their know-how and to their experience and to encourage others to move in their line and to, uh, to be able to uh, uh, be creative and to develop more innovations and we'll celebrate again, inshallah, next year.